New York got me. Kathy Hochul addresses the startling 90 degree weather forecast with a tone of urgency and concern. This is not a natural hot weather stretch for us here in the state of New York, especially upstate. But we are going to be seeing temperatures at levels we have not seen in our lifetimes. And I want to update New Yorkers on what we're doing about this significant public health event. Right now, everywhere north of New York City is under a heat advisory, and it's only going to get worse. Starting today in the Genesee Valley and the Finger Lakes, and starting tomorrow, extreme heat will hit everywhere in the great state of New York. Now, what does this mean? It's a dangerous mix of high temperatures and extreme humidity causing feels like temperature of over 100 degrees. Now that's hot. When it comes to climate change, discussions often face skepticism, especially when presented with an urgent or alarming tone. People who often focus on natural climate variability might perceive Hochul's comments as overstated. During extreme weather events, the emphasis should be on practical solutions rather than fear-inducing rhetoric. Practical action and resilience are crucial as we face today's challenges, those of the past and those from a decade ago. Immediate and effective actions are essential to help New Yorkers manage the heat. If climate variability remains consistent over the years, why raise it now? For example, promoting the use of cooling centers and encouraging personal responsibility for safety is vital. By empowering individuals and preparing communities with practical solutions, we can better respond to extreme weather, both now and in the future.